In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to solve for missing values in right triangles using trigonometry. I have the three trigonometry, uh, the three primary trigonometry ratios written here. Uh, you should know these before you even start doing things. There's different ways to try to memorize them. Make sure you know these ratios. Okay? It's important to understand that you have a ratio of an angle equals a ratio of two sides. So sine of some angle equals a leg over a hypotenuse. Okay, so you can't forget about the angle. What does it mean? Well, it's kind of hard to explain concisely, but the best way I can explain it is that we just know sine of 30 degrees equals 1 half. Yeah, I'm not going to get into why that is, but just trust that we know that sine of 30 is equal to 1 half. What does that mean? It means if I've got some right triangle, and in that triangle I have a 30 degree angle, I know the ratio of the side opposite that 30 degree angle and the hypotenuse is always going to be 1 to 2. It doesn't mean this side's 1 and this side's 2. That's not what it means. It means the ratio of those two sides is going to be 1 to 2. It doesn't matter how big or how small the triangle is. So for example, if I told you that this side was 7, well then you'd know that side's 14. Going the other direction, if I told you this side was 20, well then you'd know that the opposite leg has to be 10. So that's the idea behind trigonometry. Not all the ratios work out as nicely as 1 to 2. Uh, you know, more often than not, it's going to be some decimal that we round to four places. Uh, I just picked 1 to 2 because that's an example that's easy to do the numbers in your head. So just remember that we've got these constant ratios in all right triangles, and and you're calculator knows all those ratios. When you hit sine of 30, your calculator is just returning that ratio to you. Yeah, so for example, make sure you're in degree mode, whatever kind of calculator you're using. If I hit sine of 30, the calculator is going to return 0.5 or 1 half. So the calculator just has an algorithm that allows it to return all these trigonometry uh, ratios. That's a little bit about the why. Yeah, I want to focus more on the how. So how do we use this to solve for missing values in right triangles? We've got to understand what these mean. Okay? Um, given any triangle, or any right triangle in this case, I should say, we need to know what we mean by opposite leg, adjacent leg, and hypotenuse. The terms opposite and adjacent are relative terms. What's opposite me may not be what's opposite you. So when I say opposite, the key thing you need to think is opposite what? In trigonometry, we're talking about opposite what angle. So I need to just pick one of the acute angles. In right triangle trig, we're only going to talk about the two acute angles. Okay. And, and generally speaking, or always, if you know one of the acute angles, you know the other. So it really doesn't matter which one you pick. Okay. So if I'm talking about this angle here, say, angle, and I'll label this a Greek letter, we'll call it theta. Okay. That angle's theta. Okay. If I want to know what sine of theta is, well, I want to take the side opposite theta, or the leg opposite theta. And that's the leg that doesn't touch that angle. It's not one of the sides of that angle. So let me label my sides with variables that say x, y, and z. So if I ask for sine of theta, well, which leg is opposite theta? If I go across the triangle, which leg doesn't touch y? Or I'm sorry, which leg doesn't touch theta, and that's y. So y is the opposite leg. Okay. Which leg touches x? Now people get confused here and they want to call z the adja you know, uh, adjacent because it, it is adjacent to the angle. The hypotenuse is always going to be adjacent to your acute angles. So remember, we want the adjacent leg. Okay. And z is the hypotenuse. Hopefully you uh, everyone knows how to identify the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side in a right triangle and it's opposite the right angle. So Z we're going to be able to identify as the, as the hypotenuse. Okay. So the key here is given a triangle, can you pick a particular angle and label the three sides opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse? From there I should be able to set up all three ratios pretty quickly. Sine of theta, well if I have it memorized, sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case that's Y over Z. Okay. If I pick this angle up at the top, well, then the ratio would be different. Okay. But I didn't. I'm working with theta. If 
if I want cosine of theta, well, I want the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. That's x over z in this case. And tangent of the angle theta is opposite over adjacent. That's y over x. So once you get the hang of, of picking an angle and identifying opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse, you should be able to set up these equations.